Here's your sheet metal. This is the only thing that we buy in bundles. All of our other metals we buy as needed and we consume it as it comes in. But sheet metal, uh, you have to buy it as a bundle. That's the most economical way. So this is the only storage of raw materials that we have. Everything else, everything you see in this plant is somebody's order being processed, except for 6%. 6% is for warranty and for our parts replacement. But this here, we buy the bundles, we store them here. Now we start sheet metal. In the sheet metal area, you get your own crow's nest to make sure they know everything's going on around here. And these guys will uh, form, bend, shear sheet metal, put louvers in it, everything again. And you'll notice every guy is doing one job. So it's set up to be able to handle the parts and flow them through very quickly. Do they always do one job? They, they always do, they do different jobs, different jobs, but always one guy on that okay. job. So do you rotate your techs to do different things? Yeah, everybody's cross trained Okay. Everybody's that's, cross trained you know, that... Here he's taking a flat laser plate. You know what he's making? Yeah, the, uh... Pallet. Pallet. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's for your pallet guy. Right? Yeah. So it's coming off of a laser cut plate. It's being formed. Over here, he's on a four foot by eight foot piece of sheet metal. It'll change its own tools. It's popping these holes. It'll do its cutouts. It'll do the louvers for air. And then these guys will form it. This is actually a control box for uh, UV. It takes approximately two minutes to do a four foot by eight foot piece. Now there, there is something I want you to notice when this sheet is done and he takes it off and he loads another sheet. Tell me if you see something that is familiar to you. When you do louvers, it's louder. This is on four foot thick solid concrete. Or you would be filling it over here. 28,000 pounds of impact. This machine also, if this needs to be tapped, this machine has the ability to even tap it so that it doesn't have to go to another spot. You gotta see the one thing that we use the same tools we tell you to use. And you'll see it shortly. There's a little tab left on every corner. So he can bring the sheet out and now he shakes it and the, that, that little tab will break yeah. and the part will fall out. What do you see? Watch that go up. What did you just see? Oh, Highlock. I tell them about the trilock all the time. Three point registration system. We use the same thing we tell you to use. Imagine, imagine how long it would take him to square that up. Complete inside workings of a dryer. So every part is set up to go over because these all get riveted together. So all of these are all set up and will move over and that becomes a dryer.